Tonight to the relief a local mother is feeling after a jury found a Ruskin ice cream truck driver guilty of murder. Michael Keatley shot and killed Juan and Sergio Gutron in 2010. Four others were injured. ABC Action News reporter Jada Williams joins us live from the Hillsborough County Courthouse tonight with reaction to today's verdict. Jada, what can you tell us? The mother of the two men killed says that it's been 12 long years waiting for this day to come. Now she's left with nothing but the memories of her two only children. The defendant is guilty of murder in the first degree as charged. And Six guilty verdicts handed down. So say we all dated this 28th day of March 2023. Michael Keatley visibly upset by the decision, but just behind him, Emotions poured from Pascazada, the mother of Juan and Sergio Guitron. I'm taking final justice for my kids. I can bring my kids back, but I know my kids are happy for me, and I'm happy. The jury found Keatley guilty of murdering the Guitron brothers and shooting four others. Prosecutors say Keatley was robbed and shot while in his ice cream truck in January of 2010. On Thanksgiving of 2010, he set out to find the man he thought was responsible, instead shooting six different men on a nearby porch. That he destroyed her life, that she, that he broke her heart, but that he's going to pay for it now. And he don't got time to do something else to somebody else, like a silver like me. In her hand, a picture of her sons holding on to memories. This picture reminds her of uh, the happiness they would have when they um, when they engaged in their hobbies, especially low riding. Today's verdict was 12 years in the making, the longest standing Hillsborough County court case to date. It is unusual, but for the last 12 and a half years, the state attorney's office, the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office, and especially the victims and their families have been working for today to bring justice and peace to those we've lost. Both of those murder counts require a mandatory life in prison sentence without the possibility of parole. Keatley sentencing is scheduled for May 26th. Reporting live in Tampa, Jada Williams, ABC Action News.